Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of the Midweek Refill. I am your host and teacher, Bishop A. Reginald Littman, Senior Pastor of the New Mountaintop Church. You can join us right here live each and every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. on YouTube and or Facebook for our spirit-filled worship experience. Also, you can catch my radio broadcast at radiochondre.org, that's C-O-U-N-D-R-E-Y, and you can listen to it worldwide. Or if you're in the greater metropolitan Atlanta area, simply tune in to FM 104.5 at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings for our radio broadcast. Well, I want you to definitely call a friend, call a neighbor, let them know that I'm on now sharing this teaching entitled Five Ways That Prayer Can Help You to Know God Better. So, if you're ready, why don't we begin? It's important, first of all, to understand that prayer is a vital part of a Christian's life. It is a way for us to communicate with God and to strengthen our relationships with Him. Prayer can help us in so many ways including deepening our understanding and knowledge of God. So in this study, we're going to explore five ways that prayer can help us to know God better, and we're going to share scripture with you to that end. If you're ready, type ready in the comments. All right, here we go. Number one, prayer helps us understand God's character. By the way, Be sure to check the links in the description below for a free PDF handout that goes along with this teaching. Again, number one is prayer helps us to understand God's character. Let's see what the scriptures have to say, and then we'll talk about it a bit more. Now, in Psalm 145, verse number eight and nine, we read these words. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger. And rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. What a powerful verse of scripture that is. When we look at this passage of scripture, we are reminded of the love of God. We're reminded of the grace of God. We're reminded of the goodness of God and the compassion of God. And when we pray and bow before a holy God, these are the experiences that can and should happen, that we are reminded of his love, of his compassion, of his slowness to anger, and of his quickness towards mercy toward each and every one of us. You see, prayer, my friends, allows us to express our thoughts and our feelings to God. But it also allows us to hear back from God. That's the beauty of prayer as we talk about five ways that prayer can help you to know God better. Prayer helps us to understand God's character because prayer allows us to express our thoughts and feelings to God, but it also allows us to hear back. From God. Did you know that God wants to speak to you? God might speak to you audibly. God might speak to you situationally. And by audibly, I mean you might hear the voice of God. It may not have a certain tone to it, but it may just be a small, still voice, a small whisper. Or situationally, might mean that God might simply arrange matters in your life so that there's only one option. That is still God speaking to you. And God speaks to those who speak to him. Why don't you type that into the comments right now? God speaks to those who speaks to him. So when we spend time in prayer, we can learn more and more about God's character and who he truly is. And my friends, this understanding of God can deepen our relationship with him like nothing in the world else can. And again, point one, 
is that prayer helps us understand God's character. Again, be sure to make sure that you grab the PDF that goes along with this teaching. That way you'll have all of this in front of you. So number two, prayer helps us discern God's will. Again, prayer helps us to discern God's will. To discern means to discover, to figure it out, to see it clearly, to rationalize until we fully get a grasp. So when we pray, we are in a position to discern God's will for our lives. Now, James chapter number one, verse number five reads like this. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. What a tremendous promise that is, that if you ask God for wisdom, another word for wisdom is for discernment, because point number two, again, is that prayer helps us discern God's will. So if you ask God in simple terms for understanding of what it is that he wants you to do, what path he wants you to take, what decisions he wants you to make, James 1 and 5 promises that God will give it to you generously. Without finding fault, it shall be given to you. Is there anything that you're pursuing the wisdom of God for in your life right now? Type that area in the comments. It might be family. It might be work. It might be finances. It might be future. It might be even marriage. What is it that you're seeking to discern and fully understand what God wants you to do? My friends, if you apply James 1 and 5 to your life, God will give you what you're requesting, a complete understanding of his will for your life. So prayer can also help us discern God's will for our lives. And that's a very, very important point there for number two. So again, when we seek God's guidance through prayer, he can reveal his plans and his purpose for us. Again, we must seek his guidance. We must seek his guidance. How do you do that? Requesting it through prayer, praying a prayer in which you, ex you actually express, God, I need you to help me. I need you to direct me. I need you to lead me and guide me so that I will not make a mistake. So as we trust him and follow his lead, we can experience a deeper level of intimacy with him. And this is the result of the fact that prayer helps us to discern God's will for our lives. So again, as we trust him and follow his lead, we can experience a deeper level of intimacy with God. Number three. Prayer helps us receive God's peace. Prayer helps us to receive God's peace. There's nothing in the world like going down on your knees in prayer or sitting in a chair. It doesn't matter really about the posture, but going to God with a heart that is bent toward him can bring peace into your life. We read the words of the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And oh, what an amazing verse that is as well. Because here's what the Lord wants us to know. Through prayer we can experience God's peace. When we decide to pray, it is a decision to live without anxiety, but to live with complete and utter trust in the God to whom we are praying. So when we bring our worries and our anxieties to him, he can then give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And that is so powerful. Again, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in 
every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Here's the consequence, the peace of God, which transcends or surpasses or goes far beyond all human understanding, cannot be explained, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So when we bring our worries and our anxieties to him, he can give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what God wants to bring into your life. Do you want it? Well, it's available if you'll trust him in prayer. So this peace can help us to know God better. Why? Because as we trust in his sovereignty and his provision, we are then putting in our, putting ourselves in a position to experience the fullness of God and all of his tremendous power and assets that are available to those who will trust in him. And here's number four. Prayer helps us grow in faith. Prayer helps us to grow in faith. Now, Hebrews 11 and 1 reads like this. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Faith, F-A-I-T-H, forsaking all, I trust him. So when we see something by faith, it means it hasn't happened yet, but we are convinced of God's ability to provide the unseen. Prayer can help us to grow in our faith. As we pray and seek God, our faith can be strengthened. In fact, it will be strengthened as we pray and seek God, we cannot pray in faith and get up in doubt. But you can go down on your knees in doubt and end up getting on your feet in faith. Because that's the power of prayer when prayer is mixed with faith in God. We can trust in God's promises even when we don't see them fulfilled right away. You see, faith does not lose heart and give up just because we have not seen what we've asked for. Faith continues and holds on regardless of how long it takes, knowing that God's ability is never at question. If God said it, God is going to do just that. So this deepening of our faith can help us to know God so much better and to trust him so much more fully. So again, point number four, prayer helps us grow in faith. And if by chance you just tuned in, I want to make sure that you know that there is a PDF handout that you can find linked in the description so you can have this teaching in your hands. Share it with a group of friends. Print it out. Answer the discovery questions and watch your faith continue to grow. All right, so here's number five. Prayer helps us experience God's presence. Prayer helps us to experience God's presence. Psalm 16, verse number 11 reads like this. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Isn't that awesome? When we pray, and get into the realm of the spirit, we get this promise of Psalm 1611 that the writer says God will do for us. God will make known to me the path of life. God will fill me with joy in his presence and with eternal pleasures at his right hand. Prayer helps us to experience God's presence and in God's presence is fullness of joy. And you can make known to me the path of life. I love it. This is the kind of faith with which you should pray. That you talk to God as this. You make known to me the path of life. 
You will fill me with joy in your presence, with the eternal pleasures at your right hand. My friends, that is the power of faith at work when you talk to God. And if you really want to get to know God better, talk to God like this, with faith, without doubt, without waver. And so in this video, I've shared with you five ways that prayer can help you to know God better. I want to know which one speaks most to you. Which one? Go back and watch the video if you need to, or grab the handout and let me know which one of these speaks to you the loudest. Well, friends, prayer can also help us experience God's presence. And that's what God wants for your life is to be present with you. I'm sure that's what you want from God in your life is to be present with him. As we spend time in prayer, we can sense the nearness of God, feel the love of God, feel the grace of God, the touch of God. And here's what I love about this whole concept, this whole teaching is that at no point have we come across a mandate that we must be in the sanctuary or gathered or congregating in order to talk to God, to experience the guidance of God, the goodness of God, and the like. Right there in your home, wherever you're watching or listening, you can experience the grace and the goodness and the love and the nearness of God by simply going to God with a humble heart and open ears. This experience of God's presence can deepen our knowledge of him and then help us to grow in our relationship with him. So, in conclusion, prayer is an essential part of our relationship with God. It can help us in so many ways, including deepening our understanding and knowledge of him. As we seek him through prayer, we can grow in our faith. We can discern his will. We can receive his peace. We can experience his presence. And we can understand his character. Which of these speaks loudest to you? So may we never underestimate the power of prayer in our lives as we seek to know God better. God bless you, my friend. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what part of this study has spoken to you. Don't forget, there is a free handout that accompanies this teaching. Go get it and grow in him. Until next week, may the Lord bless you and you go with God.